My name is Malachi, I'm 19 years old. And my name is Isabel, I'm 17 years old. We're sisters and founders of Bye Bye Plastic Bags. They've given talks at the United Nations, participated in many international climate change events, and they're now household names in Bali. Bye Bye Plastic Bags! Bye Bye Plastic Bags! These are the sisters fighting for the climate, one plastic bag at a time. I think what inspired us to really start on our activism journey and to start Bye Bye Plastic Bags was really where we were raised, here on the island of Bali. It's beautiful, people call it, you know, the paradise island. And because of that, we were constantly out in nature, in the rice fields, mountains. But sadly, even at 10 and 12 years old, we could see that no matter where we went, there was plastic constantly surrounding us. You know, it's not rocket science to see it's a problem. And it's not only a problem here in Bali, in Indonesia, it's a problem globally. And so we thought, you know, what's someone going to do about this? And I think you sometimes forget that you can actually be that someone. Indonesia is the world's second worst offender for polluting the world's oceans with plastic. The Asian nation produces at least 37 pounds of plastic waste per capita every year, according to local media quoting 2019 data from the industrial ministry. Only around 10% of that vast amount of plastic waste can be recycled. The rest ends up in landfills, scattered in public places or along the coast. Single-use plastic was banned in Bali in June 2019. But Melati and Isabel, who cite Nelson Mandela and Lady Diana as inspiration, have been pushing for policymakers to do more, and urgently. Banning single-use plastic bags should not have taken six years. Uh, implementing renewable energies, empowering people with the access to these solutions, those are the actions that we need to see on a mass scale. And again, it comes back to respecting and living in harmony with the environment. And change is happening far too slowly. We need to see more leaders, more ambitious goals being made from people in positions of power. And I guess that's where young people come in because we recognize that, we can feel that. And that's why we come up on these panel discussions, why we come up in these conference rooms demanding that these changes are bigger, that these goals are more ambitious. We need to see the bar set a lot higher and a lot sooner. At the World Economic Forum earlier this year, Indonesia vowed to cut marine plastic debris by 70% within the next five years and achieve a plastic pollution free status by 2040. Never let anyone tell you that you're too young to make a difference or you're too young to do anything. You have to wait until you grow up, get your degree, get your diploma, and then you can maybe, if you feel like it, make a difference. You have so much power in you. And we are the living example that kids can do things. Kids can change the world. Because we believe that us kids may only be 25% of the world's population, but we are 100% of the future. We